Okay. Okay. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Everything just kind of worked today. That's a... Oh, uh, I say that everything just kind of worked today, and now Seren wants to add new, new layers of not working. So this will be fun. So we're uh, we're still uh, doing a little bit of setup. So if you're watching right now, un momento. I didn't expect things to just kind of work, and now Seren's throwing a new a new wrench into the equation. So I'm going to need a second to finish setting up. So hold, please. Da, da. In retrospect, I probably should have muted my microphone. Yeah, you, you, you're giving this one some some challenge. Okay, all right, so that's working. I think, I can hear myself. Good, progress. All right, so now I have to do the part that's really horrible. And that is getting Skype to play nicey nice. If OBS worked nicer with uh, with the halpage, which is to say it doesn't work very well with the halpage at all because it's demanding. Um, I could make this work better, but... Watch that. All right, so if I send that, no, no, it won't work. I need to send one to to this. So it, it's amazing that I've done the virtual audio cables thing about a million times, and I still have to think about it every time. Um, the, the, the neat part about it is there's two applications. 
and one of them is always the bad one. Okay, that's one. And then I need to send... One to two. And then I need to send me to two, and that will do it. Is that true? Yes. Um, Yeti. Where's the Yeti at? Where's the Yeti at? There it is. Okay. I was worried for a second, too. Okay, good. All right, so that's good. Now I need to do Skype, and then this nightmare will be real. All right, uh, so audio settings on the Yeti. That's fine. Speaker to line one. Save. And then I call Seren and pray to God this doesn't go wrong. Hello? Hi. I've muted the stream. Do you want me to unmute the stream so I can hear if I'm coming through? I can hear. I can hear you. Okay, I can hear you. Oh, God, I, I need to stop this now. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right, echoing. Echoing bad. Echoing. Echoing. Okay, Hi! Hey! Hi, everybody! Hey. Sorry it took me a while to get all this set up. Um, things were, things were, uh, surprised. I am Surprise! Coming awesome. Surprise! So, so we're probably not going to do Yakuza today, because it's, it's already late and Twitch was having a thing. Um, Aww. But that's okay. Uh, and, and I can only do the PS4 streaming on Yakuza, because all of the fun shit of getting the PS4 is set up to run streaming through the device is a pain in the ass. It's just... Put the HDMI cable in after disabling HDCP in the settings. It's it's not it's not a settings thing. It's a setup thing. It's, okay. It's a it's uh the PS4 is is buried in my entertainment center. And getting to its cables a pain in the ass. Gotcha. I need to uh I need to run everything through a switcher at some point so I don't have to mess with cables when I want to stream a different device. But that's just kind of a pain in the butt. Back of my TV is is quickly and easily accessible. It's not against a wall. It's just in the middle of my room. So. Oh yeah. See, mine's mine's in a corner. Um, I, when I when I redid it recently, I made it all nice and pretty. But then I needed to go fix it again because I added two devices since then. I added the, the I did it right before Switch came out. Um, right, I remember that. And then I bought an Xbox One because I'm an I'm an idiot. Hi everybody. This Hi, is Mario everybody. and Rabbids Kingdom Battle plus Cats. Um, I'm only, I'm only, I think near the end of the first world. So I haven't been playing it that long. One dash. Uh, what do you think? One dash six. I think is the one that I just finished. Okay. Um, one, one dash nine is the end boss. Okay. I just, I just did the the piranha. Yes, that's the mid boss. Yeah. So um. This, so already, first first observations, is that all I have is, is a little bit of experiences. They, they they really went after it, didn't they? Yeah. They, they really committed to being weird. Yes. And uh, they, mission, mission accomplished. This is a weird video game. Um, so basically what's happened is all of the merges two items together to form one item and the rabbits time traveled into it and broke everything because they are the manifestation of chaos incarnate um, yes um, the rabbits just decided to be shit disturbers basically I mean, that's their role I mean they're just they're just they're just low value minions so yeah it makes sense um, their minions what? their minions song uh McDonald's Happy Meal toys. Actually, that's not true. Because uh, I think there were ra there were rabbits. Uh, there yeah, were, there were McDonald's. Though, I don't think. Um. The. Oh fuck! Sorry. Um. The French is something like is like cretin rabbit is the name of of the rabbits in French. That makes sense. It's like it's like rabbit cretin. Yeah. All right. So what's happening right now? Because obviously I'm not in the middle of a 
of a fight is uh, between the stages you get to kind of explore this weird like block built world because it too was impacted by this MacGuffin that's forming everything. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, sorry, sorry to hear that. I hope you'll be able to join us next time. Um, right now we're dealing with some. Just, I'm just trying to explore because I know somewhere there's a switch to let me in here, to get to that switch to let me in. Somewhere you might not else. have access to the ability to the overworld ability yet. You get a new overworld interaction ability at the end of every world, like hitting switches or. Sure, I, I, I can hit switches, but it's, a, it's just a question of do I have access to that switch? Um, I mean, slightly differently, but yes. Um, because I've there, I've done a few where it's like super hidden. And it's like okay, I need to find the thing, and eventually I found it. Um, I'm gonna guess that I do have access based on the fact that they keep showing me the same ones. Um, it's probably something like I need to get mm. get one of these, and I'll, I'll look around. Yeah, there's the green one. Yeah, yeah. It's just a matter of figuring you, out. Like, not only are you ahead of me, I'm not gonna spoil too much. But, fair enough. Um, my my troll, by the way, completely failed because the switch. <sighs> Because Poisoft couldn't be fucked to make their game work correctly. I launched Room in the Night Sky to make the pop-up work, but because you signed into your profile after, it just said Seren online. Yeah, When it did. popped up on your stream. Which, goddammit, Poisoft, you couldn't even get the login right so I could troll your stream. Vroom in the Night Sky. I mean, you're the one, you're the one who'd be playing Vroom in the Night Sky. So yeah. No, hey! I just booted it. Yeah, this is uh, this is one of the little mini games you can find just sort of like scattered around the game world, where you got to collect blue coins. Everyone's favorite Mario feature. Uh, Hell there's yeah! Blue, there's blue coins. There's red Ooh. coins. There's gold coins. Spike just, strike. Just coins. Unless I have a new weapon for Luigi. Speaking of coins, I just got Luigi, so I haven't even had a chance. Speaking of coins, I have. Oh, use Luigi. I, I probably will, but I haven't I haven't had a mission yet since I got to him, so we'll see. Gotcha. Um, speaking of coins. Speaking of coins and blue coins specifically, I haven't watched uh, Steal My Sunshine for today. God damn. Is it bad? They did the Watermelon Festival. Oh, for fuck's sake. Abby did the Watermelon Festival in one life and one turn that lasted 45 or so minutes. Oh my god. Because there was a bet, because Dan Riker had four shines, and he bet three shines against one shine that Abby would fail, and Abby didn't fail, Abby just took 45 minutes. What a nightmare. Uh-huh. Hey, um, look, look, we did it. We we unblocked all the blocks, and then I can just jet over here, and this awesome. better be this better. One thing I do wish is that he that they, like, uh, synced a little bit harder to the, the pipes and stuff, because sometimes I find myself running yeah. behind them. And yeah. What's back here? Um, the, the, the fuck? Um, is there, is there like a power I don't have? No, there's there's maybe, any power on. Maybe. That's weird. Um, yeah, I will say, uh, Luigi, when you use him, uh, I will warn you because if you haven't used him before, uh, he is a sniper that you that you should not put on the front lines because he is extremely powerful and has very low defense. Ah, uh, oh, I see. This I need to I need to push the box, and that's probably what makes that thing show up over there. Probably. Um, but the fact that nobody knows how to push blocks yet—that's that's your first environmental interaction. I haven't learned to. Do it's a Roomba, bro. Even Mario could do it. He lives. Yeah, but, a, but you're not controlling Mario. Aren't we all controlling Mario? You're controlling Mario? a furry Roomba. Alright, so let's take a look at the team and see if... My my uh, Peach is not doesn't do a lot of damage. So uh, gonna... Rabbit, Rabbit Peach is really good when you um, build her up. Um, like, she has... like you, don't, you haven't unlocked healing for her. She's your healer. We, I mean, we just got skills this this last. Oh, mission. that's right. Uh, uh, yeah, it's worth keeping her around just because she becomes your healer, and you don't get Princess Peach until I believe the very end of World Two, uh, which is halfway through the game. So, and she's right, your so, other healer. So it's saying I've got these skills already. Yes, you start this with the, the bottom row. The, the second, square skills are the one you activate. Yes, exactly. 
if you have any questions about what any of them mean, you're going to have to read them to me because I'm a little behind, but I can tell you what any of them do. Okay, so I'm looking at giving Mario the melee, the melee attack. Um, okay. Because that seems... The, I mean, the the, uh, the M power is expensive. I don't have the money for it. Do you get do you get pretty cl close up to enemies in combat traditionally? I run. I usually I usually if they're close, I do the run attack first. Yeah. Okay. Um. Just know that melee can hit your allies as well. Oh, neat. There's th this game has a lot of friendly fire with weapons. Any weapon basically that isn't your main three first three characters main weapons. Uh, I can't do anything with uh, with Rabid Peach. Uh, all her skills are twenty. Um, in fact, I can't do much with anybody. Uh, Rabid Peach, yeah, I would. And your David in the chat is saying, "Get the drone bomb, get the drone bomb." That's the that's the good that's a good offensive thing for Rabid Peach. But I would say get healing first, just because that's better. Like you'll be using that for a long ass time. All right, let's let's try to do. Uh, how many? Wait, how many people can you have in the team at one time? Three. Oh, okay. It's, oh, it deselected everybody. I see. Yes, you have to you have to select three. Oh, I was hoping it would keep them selected. All right. So now he has a secondary weapon. That's good. I like secondary weapons, but ooh, we have lots of weapon choices now. Yeah, the the borbs. I want to do more damage, and I like burn. Ah, uh, so I will say, mm -hmm. you and this was in the um, review guide for this game. Uh, you will not you will not be able to unlock every weapon. Period. No, I, I figured that. So the money should, the money numbers just don't make. Yeah, sense so that otherwise. was that was your one choice for weapon at this point, and yeah, the end of your David saying save the money. Um, I would have said the same thing had you not just spent the money. I mean, I've I've spent some money, but I've been yeah, I've basically only bought one weapon for everybody at this point, beyond their base weapon. He was still on his base. All right, right off the bat, let's get to, let's get to work. I'm working with Don to set up a. Uh, a, th a video thumbnail for the video I just recorded for him. Yeah. And his <laughs> his first pick for thumbnail was the the big ending of the f of the prologue, like the big twist. Just put that like tw twenty five minutes into the twenty seven minute video. Put that as the video thumbnail. Nice. Um, and then he sent me. Another one of the two characters going down the zip line. I'm like, no, there's actually a better one. Do the dab, do the dab, do the dab. No, you're in cover. You're not doing the dab. Hmm. Can I go over here? You in world? I I'm in world four. Oh, I beat the game. Yeah, end of the hour, David. I beat I beat the game uh, before I reviewed it. I beat the game the Sunday. And Joy-Con issues since. Uh, yeah. Uh, I talked to Ubisoft about the bug, and they said, um... First they asked, Hey, Joy-Con desync issue? Because here's the support.nintendo.com page about it. And Thanks. I said, Ubisoft. I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm pretty sure it's a bug with the multiplayer syncing. And they said, uh, try it in a different location if you can. So we played it in a totally different setup, and I didn't have the issue. And so they just said, yeah, you probably are just have that manufacturing variation that I've seen with no other game and no other mode in this game. So... Thanks, Ubisoft. Yeah, so they... I guess, like, Ubisoft PR and dev team just reached out to me and said... Uh, send Nintendo your Joy-Con, because something's up. Uh, t to be clear what was happening, and I wasn't able to talk about this before the embargo, because I didn't know if this was a bug, like, inherent to the software or not, is that there, during multiplayer, 
you when using the Joy-Con grip, specifically the grip, specifically multiplayer, the left Joy-Con would di disconnect separately from the right Joy-Con like every like two minutes, That's and it would neat. just it would just boot back to the um uh sis you're gonna destroy your cover. Oh no, you didn't destroy your cover. Crazy, you just did damage to it. Um, sorry, I'm also behind. Um, yeah, so the other like, oh, hold on, did you catch David's comment? I don't trust him either. Like how I download Minecraft no. and my yeah. picture and screenshots. That's pretty yeah. amazing. Um, but yeah, so I so I don't know. Now, that seemed an, an inherent bug, and it didn't work when I used Joy-Con in single player, and it didn't, and it didn't happen when we used the left Joy-Con by itself in multiplayer. Like we did split Joy-Con multiplayer, there wasn't an issue. It was specifically Joy-Con grip, specifically this one location, specifically multiplayer. It was just so circumstantial that it just circumstantial. I assumed it was a bug, and Ubisoft says like, "No, we did debugging on this specifically, and it, we couldn't find it." So, go send your Joy-Con to Nintendo, which would be all of my left Joy-Con, which would mean I can't use the system portably for a few weeks. Is there a button that that says, I don't want to move? Yeah, you, you can just move, you can just switch between characters and then hit enemy turn Y at the very end. Okay, okay, I was, I was wondering if there was a button I could just commit somebody to stay, like, they're not going to move this turn. No, yeah. If, if you do not activate on the movement icon in your su in the bottom yeah. menu, you are not going to move that turn. Yeah. Okay. Why does Luigi have to sit on the drone first? What's he doing to it? He's riding the vibrations, baby. Ugh. That's worse than if you continue with lesbian talk. All right. Oh, so, so we're gonna we're gonna just finish this mission. Actually, I think there's another one up on the top platform. Uh. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna pick up these coins. These individual coins, like, I, I get that they're here, so you have something to pick up, but they kind of seem pointless because, like, one coin is almost so valueless relative to the cost they, of everything else. They add up. They do. Oh, uh, what's sure. All right, that takes care of that. And there is somebody upstairs. Steely stare. The one thing, the one thing I'm not 100% sold on is the characters do look a little bit plasticky, more so than usual. Yeah, they Ubisoft made all the care, all of the assets. All right, so we're now waiting for them for them to fire on me and not able to hit me as we slowly advance on this guy. We'll just shoot each other's blocks until until somebody's cracks first. All right, so yeah, right now I'm just kind of still trying to figure the game out a little bit because yeah, I'm not I'm still pretty early in. Yeah, uh, have you, you haven't met the heavy enemies, have you? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, then no, you have not. The ones where you have to draw aggro? You uh, would not, know. No. I'm surprised you didn't jump off of Mario's head. Uh, I'm trying to play it really cautious here. Because gotcha. I, I, I had him in, for lack of a better word, Overwatch mode already. Gotcha. And, I'm, and I also have sent this thing after him. Yeah, he's probably going to shoot the drone. No. No, he shot the cover. There you go. In my experience, they usually shoot, try and shoot the drones. And then they get to explore the space a little bit. I, I hate that there's no undo inside your own turn. Made a few mistakes I cursed about. I mean, uh, yeah, I, I, that's I, the challenge. I mean, I, I mean more from the standpoint, you know, I, I kind of agree. Like, I had a place where, like, I had, I talked about, like, I, I wish they kind of locked the, the pipes a little bit better. Like, he, I ended up going through the pipe and didn't mean, to, or didn't go through the pipe when I thought I was lined up with it. And said they mm. took cover on the pipe itself. That, like, like, like if, if you're still yeah, in the comp... I thought, 
I thought the UI was extremely clear about that personally. Like, I didn't have... I never had an issue with that. So, I'm not saying, like, your issue is invalid. I'm just saying, personally, I don't know what solution I would do because I would I say as long as you haven't that. acted. If you, if, you're, if you still have the other actions left and you haven't been hit by, like, an Overwatch equivalent, just be able to cancel. I mean, but that... De- that defeats a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of the flow of the later, like any battle after World One. Like there are, e- like there are enemies that move during your turn and interact with you during your turn in between actions of a single character, mm. based on your movements, which increase the strategy. Also, the uh, cha- the super challenge levels that you that are completely optional, um, the the ones you unlock after beating the bosses of the individual worlds um one of them made me draw out the map on graph paper and do damage and health calculations as i tried to calculate the entire the entire flow of combat like all the likely scenarios um i don't have so to that, kill the, ch- the chain chomp right no the chain chomp is going to attack the nearest he's a, enemy he's a in between hazard. turns yes and if you kill both of those rabbits it's after mario yeah, I'm not gonna. Be, I'm not going to though. I'm. I'm. I'm very, being very attentive to that. Uh, I'm a let's see. I wiener. Um, like there's a there's a map I did that was set, was basically I think it was like defeat these ten enemies within two turns and everyone survives. Oh, which that was a like. Undoing would have completely broken that. Um, oh, he's not chained to the ground. No, he's not. Oh, no. Oh, we have a thumbnail. Awesome. Is it, I'm sorry. Is it, is it pretty much always two chapters, then, then uh, or two stages, then the next, the next set? It's one to four. Um, okay. One to four battles per stage. Gotcha. Um, eight stages and a boss per world. Okay. Yeah, because I'm trying to figure out, like, because you, you, your health refills at a certain point. It's just a question of when, you know, how long do I need to, need to anticipate? It does not tell you at the beginning of the stage how long the stage will last. Okay. You sort of figure that one out the hard way. True video games uh, require spreadsheets. So Eve, <laughs> Eve is a Eve is the Eve only is, true Eve video is a game. Job like Eve isn't even a video <laughs> game. Eve is just work. I know this isn't gonna do anything. I'm just gonna try to break his his guard. All right, that takes care of that. Oh, it just it went off before I got there. Okay, well that's fine. Uh, okay, that's that. All right, so yeah, right now I'm. We're still in that like figure the game out phase, and uh, oh, that if uh, all I have to do now is go hide because they're all way closer to him than I am. Yeah. Oh. Jeez. So I follow um, This Day in Giant Bomb History on Twitter. Mm Mm-hmm. Has... It is hard for me to believe, but I guess it is true, that Giant Bomb has been live-streaming the Bombcast for over a year now. Yeah, it's been a little while. That that still feels like this, like, eight-month-old thing or so, but it's like, no... This day in this this day one year ago was episode 445's live video. Yeah, they've been, they've been at it for a little bit now, which is kind of mm-hmm. crazy to think about. But yeah. All right, so then they're gonna go uh, after that rabbit. And I need to pull this guy back. All right, good. And then Mario can't really is- do anything, so I'll just kill his turn. Yeah. What else has recently been in the Giant Bomb so, history? So chat, how many of y'all are playing this game right now out of curiosity? Um, I'm, I'll be very, I'm very curious to see how well this game does. 
Um, uh, it's selling very well digitally. I don't know about retail. Yeah. It'll be, uh, oh. it's, it's one of those games where it could do better than I expect it to, or it could just kind of go, eh. Yeah. Did you get the, uh, Pixel Weapons DLC code with your retail copy? I didn't get retail. Oh, yeah. I used one of I my, uh, I used one of my, uh, those, uh, eShop 60 points for 50 bucks things that I got. Yeah. No, the retail, or the, the review copy did not come with that, so it's part of the season pass, which... Oh I... boy, like I, th that's that's actually the part that upsets me the most is there's now a Mario game with the season pass. Look like, forward to Odyssey. Oh. Uh, I've been waiting to hear a real review. What's a real review? I I, I a mean, review you already agree with? All right, don't come in here. This and, should do cause trouble for me. Uh, I'm not causing trouble for you. Uh, People know we're two different people. We have different voices. People people don't always associate good. Don't always do associations yes. real good. Yes, there def is a US retail version with the Pixel stuff. NWR has two reviews. It's true. All right, uh, so now I'm in trouble because I've, I've made him mad. And why isn't there more? Is, is, does he have a maximum space he can go? Distance? Uh, I hit X, hit Tacticam. And then hover over him, and then hit lock. And then that if, like maybe, tacticam. Look at the. Yeah, yeah. I can't. I can't tacticam on him. Oh, sorry. I was before. I was while you're still trying to figure out oh. tacticam. If you can't tacticam on him, no. I don't believe there is a maximum distance. This is a very small map. Neat. You're well, probably then fucked. Should, then I should just, at, at the very least, I should lure him towards the other guy. Probably, yeah. Uh, like, I'll take the hit and then just deal. Alright, and then Mario, I don't want to do anything. But, like, no, I... I... Honestly... Yeah, I'm going to lose perfect on this one. That's okay. I'm probably going to get the... Um, Chomp. Uh, the season pass uh, once the first actual DLC pack is out. Because, like, here's the thing about those steampunk weapons. When you get the game early, like, they, they're very powerful early game. They don't do shit for me where I am. Oh, so the uh, there, is a, there is a limit to how far he'll pursue. Oh. Yeah, because okay. I, I just ended the turn and he didn't do Yeah, anything. I saw that. Huh. Um... That sucks. But that does suck. But yeah, no, the those weapons are pretty useless to me right now, as are the pixel pack ones. So I'm. Oh, there I, we go. So I sit here and I'm just like, I want it for the multiplayer maps. Ubisoft delivered his uh, physical version last Saturday. <laughs> yes. Well. I mean, review copies didn't go out too much earlier than that. They came out like. Who's the the uh, one week before? So knowing that he can't, he can only move that short of a distance. I actually could have pulled Luigi back and been okay. Oh well, I overcommitted because I was like, well, I'll just draw. I'm closer to that guy. Yeah. Oh, well. uh, there, we, there we go. Oh, that poor rabbit. Um, but it's the sentence I never thought I would say before 2017. That was a he deserved. Uh, yeah, probably. Bad, bad, oh. bad review by me, but that's okay. I'll One second. That could have done better. I could have done better, chat. I'm sorry. I failed you. I failed. I'm a failure. We need to find an alternate path. Mario is all about jumping. Just jump. Just, I can jump this. Box jumps aren't that aren't that bad. Right, that's a cannon. That's probably the alternate path. Can we do anything else before we go dig around here? Um, well, if you ever wanted to crawl into a rabbit's mouth, congratulations. Wow. 
Also, the uh, the David Wise music is in full display. Listen to this banjo kazooie ass banjo kazooie music. He even, I mean, he even uses that uh, that French horn, which is part of one of the banjo themes. Like it's it's literally lifted from a banjo theme. Uh oh. I shouldn't have pressed that, I just kept it over here. Cause I can walk up the platform now. Okay, where does this take me? Yeah, treasure. Fox Hunter strikes again. Um, I guess this button doesn't really matter in, in this context because I'm just riding the cannon back. And then I just hit the button. And go across. Get the coins. Hit the button. I'm back, sorry. It's okay. And then mess up the uh, jump. Neat. I messed up the jump. Um, I, I was commenting on how Banjo-Kazooie-ass Banjo-Kazooie this music is. Oh yeah, no, totally. Including, this is... Including just riffs lifted straight out of Banjo-Kazooie music. I mean, this is also sort of like, yeah, what if... Like, this is the perfect blend between Banjo-Kazooie and Viva Pinata, plus a few licks of music from... You know, the Mario series. Yeah. Uh, I will say... Let me find this review guide, because they were pretty upfront about... Um, about some of the music in this game. There's a there's a song... The, the song that's playing right now, there's a there's a riff of it where a French horn basically plays the... Uh, the, un, the, the B melody from Spiral Mountain in Banjo-Kazooie. Like... Yeah. da 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 but it doesn't it doesn't finish it with the the doo -doo 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 that comes afterwards. It just stops there. Yes. But like, like to the point yes. where if it wasn't David Wise, David Wise should sue. This isn't David Wise. This it's, is Grant Kirkhope. It, so you're right, Grant Kirkhope. Yes. Um. So the uh, Peach Castle Hub music and then mm -hmm. the soundtrack to the first boss battle. Um. Nintendo will claim your ass on YouTube. They nice. they said uh, up front in the review copy, uh, these two specific songs in this game are not rights protected for for videos. We nice. couldn't do anything about that. Sorry. Then I'll try to avoid those areas. Uh, you are gonna hit the first boss on this stream unless you stop within the next like thirty minutes. Okay. Well, I wasn't planning on going super long tonight. Okay. That, that might be fine. Uh. uh because I do, I yeah. do want to at least put Yakuza in in the realization that it probably needs to update. Uh, it it needs it needs a very very brief update. Like I mean, I'm like 40 megabytes because there was a cutscene bug. Nice. Which was actually really amusing because you know how Yakuza Zero had. Uh, oh, they didn't take the Rabbit Kong one. You forgot to remove the music. Cool. Uh the that's the boss battle. Uh, ah. so it's it's the one on the front cover of yeah. the game. Uh, so. Yeah, the... Uh, what was I saying real quick? Before Rabbit Kong. You were talking about the Yakuza 0 music. Oh yes, Yakuza. Or, or yeah, Yakuza 0, so the DLC for that. Um, so you know how it they just gave all the Japanese DLC through patches? Yeah. Yeah, so you get a patch every week that would add new content. Um, and treat it like you bought the DLC. So... In Yakuza Kiwami, they did this. They set up the same thing in four different waves, four patches, and they had submitted all of those to um, Sony and staggered the um, the release schedules. And then they realized they needed an actual bug fix. Bugs, bug fix. So what you're going to download is 1.05, which is the bug fix and removing the files that are going to be added back in in 1.06, 1. oh, 1.07, 1. 1.08, and 1.09. <laughs> That's awful! Because otherwise they're just giving you all of the, like, game-breaking items right up front. 
That's terrible. The oh, is, Luigi like, was not the character to do that with. Well, that's fine. We'll figure it out. Um, oh. But that also you just means... You your stake for right now in front of everyone with no cover. Well, you know, I screwed up. It's okay. You can always... I didn't mean I didn't mean to land there. I thought I could land on that space. Okay, whatever. Targets are out of sight. Yeah, well that's fine. Um, if you move the cursor slower, you're gonna have a lot fewer problems. Yeah. Just, just saying. I I looking at your gameplay. I think that might be your issue as well with the pipe thing. I feel like if you move it like. 15% slower. The slowdown was super real there, and like, it was deliberate, but also felt weird. Cause yeah. It, it, cl it clicked the Overwatch mode, and it was like, Ugh. Um, it's like Dragon Ball uh, Fighters, which deliberately runs at a low frame rate in order to, one, be more countable, and two, look just like the TV show. I mean, the countability stuff, I, I get, but the TV show part, like, man. Oh, that's just amazing. That's perfect. I love it. That game looks so good. I I cannot believe that Namco Bandai is going to try to sell... Um, what's that? What's that damn game that, that, that they're selling on Switch that's a year old already? Uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2? Yeah. Like, I, I, I was... Watch the first 35 seconds of their big, um, their big, uh, like, total explanation video right before the stream. I can, I have that still up. I, I'm, I was planning on finishing it. Uh, it looks like there's a lot of heavy motion controls. Oh, God. Like, I just can't fathom why they felt like this is, this game needs to come out now. Uh, by the system. way... Yeah, this game had a $30 season pass on PS4 and Xbox One. DLC not included with the Switch version, I don't believe. I think you still have to buy it all separate. The game And the game is is a year old at this point. Like, it's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, this was this game, by the way, was notable for um, when they I asked for a uh, review copy from last year for Xenoverse 2. Um... I said, I don't care if it's PS4 or Xbox One. So they sent me a code for the game on Xbox One, and a code for the Season Pass on Xbox One. However... Actually, no, sorry, they sent me a code... They, they said they sent me a code for both, on Xbox One. Okay. However, one code was very clearly a PSN code. Oh, you remember you telling me about this, and then they just so, gave you the wrong codes. So I punched them both in, both codes were season pass codes, Good. so I owned season pass on both platforms and not the game on either. Well, you, you I don't asked need about the it. game. The game asked, is superfluous. I asked about it, and uh, they sent me the game on uh, PS4. So I have the game and season pass on PS4, and the season pass on Xbox One. Well, that's good. I mean, that way you have Very everything. It's a very functional season pass on Xbox One. Um, I'm surprised you can you can even get the season pass if you don't have the game. Like, why does it even let you pick it up? So, on... I said I wasn't going to talk about this game, so I'm not. I'm going to talk about the eShop function of it. So, Knights of Azure 2, I, I picked up today, released in Japan today. And, but there was some... There were some circumstances where I wasn't able to make complete the purchase right away. So, I... But I wanted to grab the download for the for the DLC. I just wanted to claim the DLC. Here's how DLC works on Switch when you don't already own the game. I hit download. It was free. I hit download, and it installed, and it added the home menu icon. For the game? For the game. I then hit options and downloaded the day one patch for the game that was not installed or purchased. Neat. But because I owned the DLC and had a home menu tile, I could interact with it however I wanted. Then I later purchased the game. Oh, and it, and on the home menu, on the home tile, it had the like the cloud with the down arrow for like when it's an archived software and you like you need to actually go download it again. Yeah. 
Um, I it had that, and I hit A, and it says you need this software to launch it. I think it literally said those words. Um, and then I was like, okay, sure, Nintendo. So I bought the um, I bought it. Yeah, and then it just started the progress bar on the tile that was already there. What a, it's such a weird experience. Like it doesn't it doesn't need to be like that. It could it just doesn't. be it could just be easier. It but, could, but this is Nintendo. Do you like, think that in their design process they were accounting for people downloading DLC for titles they didn't own? I mean, it could just not let you do it. Like I mean, just, the like, Wii U just asked. The Wii U right. asked, like, "Do you own this? Are you sure you own this game, even though you own it digitally?" At least, like, at least this. Uh, by the way, that's some awesome Devil Overwatch. Oh yeah, you caught um, that. Yeah, I did. Um, what game was this? This was uh, Knights of Azure 2, which launched in Japan today. Um, Son of a... Follow me around. But... The... Um, yeah. Just... What a... Like, at least it doesn't ask you to do the fucking honor system. Every. Single. Time. Oh, I'm gonna buy a character for Smash Brothers. This title already owns Smash Brothers. Do you own it? Then there's one button on screen that just says, I own it. I do. I got. I got the game. It's like, bitch. I own it digitally. Search for it. I will do that right now. Thanks. What? Get the free DLC. Do you, Do you? I, oh, I heard that Blaster Master DLC was easy to download if you don't own it. Oh yeah. Uh, already did it for Nobunaga's Vision. Oh, you're just grabbing all the DLC for titles you don't own. Well, because because for uh, Blaster Master it was free. It was for free, no, limited like, no, time. For, for sure, for Blaster Master, while it was free, I don't think this is free for a limited time, so you don't need to just go download this thing for a game you're not gonna buy. I want, like, I why want are no you gonna go buy, why are you gonna go buy the, claim the Nobunaga's Ambition DLC? Are you gonna drop a hundred dollars to import a, a strategy game so dense that I'm, I worry about importing it, and I play through all these Japanese visual novels? I want Nobunaga's ambition so bad. Like, I mean, you, you can you can buy it and just suffer through it. No, I want it. I want it in a language guide. that's that I yeah. Like, I want to be able to enjoy it. That game is in English other other places, so you can just look at English language guides. Yeah, I know. But there's it's just, just not, something just about English. about like having that game in, on Switch and just being like, I can play this wherever I go and be frustrated and confused. I like having the icon. I can be frustrated and confused on an airplane, and mad, Good. and very oh, mad. Oh, here's your, here's your heavy. I like yeah. having the icon. Yeah, sure, like, I guess. I'm not going to judge you on that. I just personally don't get that. Especially because my system's already so cluttered, I have over 70 icons on my Switch. How's the, uh, and, just ask the chat, how's the stream quality looking right now? Because we'd had some problems with, with streaming Wii U. We've never, I've never streamed the Switch. Uh, Video-wise, for me... Uh, stream quality is excellent. Video. Yay! Good. I was uh, worried. I have not. I don't have audio, but yeah. I understand that my Steam library acts that. Oh, my Steam library. I have over fifteen hundred games in my Steam library. Um, my personal Steam library. I also have access to a press account. Um, which, if you don't know, a press account is a, is something that I have uh, Nintendo Steam video on there. Just, just fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Well, well, they showed you. <laughs> yes, they did. Um, no, for for people who don't know, a Steam Press account is a thing that they stopped handing out uh, many years ago. But uh, if you got in when the getting was good, uh, it's an account that permanently. I have the freaking Eurosport app on 3DS still. Um, it's an account that you can just go to the store page for a ge for any game. And just click add to cart and then it's immediately in your library for free i do wish you could leave um and maybe there's yeah, a way to do it maybe... three games on steam yeah 1603 that doesn't sound unreasonable is is there is there a way to leave up his movement radius on the screen uh no not outside of tactic cam once you close out tactic cam it's gone i believe that stinks um i see what you're saying about them being able to move 
Yes, turn. and so here's the thing. You do not ever want to use Overwatch with these fuckers, because if you use Overwatch with them, I, I see you going into Overwatch as the oh, yeah. delay catches up. Uh, when he gets hit with Overwatch, once he's done with his turn, that gives him another four squares to move and another attack, in addition to his turn. Well, so I have, a, I have a plan for this. Every time he gets hit, every time it's his turn, he will move yes. up to four spaces and then smash, and he will do insane amounts of damage. Yeah, like that? Like that mess I just created for myself? I don't know. I'm still yeah, a rabid Yeah, you, well, you'll see. Oh, yes. Uh, but I actually have a plan for this. I have a... I have a I have a, he's gonna get to the attack twice. No, 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 no. I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna do something real, oh, real no. stupid. I'm gonna do something real hot stupid. Dashes don't trigger a mad rush. It's true. If you dash through him, uh, he that does not give him aggro. That's just free damage. That's the only way to get free damage on him. Ah, see, that's good knowledge to have because that actually goes to what I was planning to do. Yes, that is which, that is which true. Is I just didn't realize. I just didn't know that was in the, um... I am going to distract him. I just didn't know that was part of James's potential strategy. But yes, that is very, very legitimate strategy. Um, no, so... Oh, no, he could move that far. Oh, I miscalculated. Yes. I miscounted. Um, so, oh, wow. yeah, I, I, I was going to mention the stomp, but he doesn't have access to the stomp yet, so... Um, I'm leaving in like, by the way, I'm leaving in like probably 10, 15 minutes. Okay. Um, that phone call was, I need to go. Oh, um, fair enough. At some point, but I will announce here quickly, uh, I'm gonna do an extra live stream this year. Oh. Um, I'm gonna try for 18 hours is the goal. Um, I... If some of the games that I've worked on have, have shipped by then, which is partially up to me, partially not. I've been doing a lot of freelance work for the chat who does who wouldn't know this. You know this, but mm -hmm. the chat that doesn't have been doing some freelance work. If they ship, then I can right, take yeah, a look yeah. at those games. Even though I've played them to death by now, like literally to death. Like I'm so sick of the music in these games, I've muted them all. <laughs> but the... Um, no, I'm gonna try and get, like, some local friends in, for some portions of it, I'm gonna try and get you for, like, maybe two or three hours of the whole thing, uh, Don, for a different segment. I'm gonna try and stagger things, if possible. Please, so I don't God, stagger things. So I don't blow all my guests at once. Yeah. So I'm not, I don't have five guests for two hours, and then no guests for the other 16. I'll um, tell you, having run Extra Life stuff, oh my God, you need, you need somebody who isn't on your stream for energy yes because otherwise no. you're going to want to die yes and um, i need yes i need people to keep coming in and refreshing me um and i need uh, people in the chat um but part of this part of the stream probably the bulk of it is i'm going to set my steam library page public oh dear god and i'm going to take suggestions from chat on any games they want to see me play that I can run while streaming on my PC. Oh dear god. And if it's of a... And I will also, ha I think, set aside like maybe a $30 budget for games I don't own in advance of this. Um, god. yeah, James, you need to fucking book it to your area. This yeah. map did not expect you to... This, this map, this specific combat encounter, was actually not designed for you to destroy any of these strong enemies. I know, but I have a plan. I uh, have okay. a plan. Okay. I'm gonna kite him away from the mess. I'm leaving Meow? What the fuck? I've been living in anime. Um... My friend. Um... Oh shit, another one spawned? Oh, down there. Okay, I'm not worried about it. Yes. And um, he has shield up, so he should be good in terms of damage, yeah. And then Mario could just finish well, the run. He should survive. But... Yeah, well, I'm not, that's all I'm worried about. Um, oh shit. But he won't survive now. There we go. That was bad. Yeah. That was real bad. Okay, well, Mario just needs to run. Mario does need to run. Super Mario run. Uh, um. And then we just go here, and then we're good. We're good. He can't catch me. 
Uh, Famous last words. But I will put it in Overwatch because I'll kill him when he, if he starts moving towards me. Uh, no! What? You might Overwatch the one that has full health. We'll see. If that one moves first. Oh, okay. We, I might. But he, he probably won't. Yeah, he didn't. Probably, okay. Like, I don't yeah. take probably the strategy games. What? Well, yeah. And, and this is why I hack my Fire Emblem difficulties. He was kind of <laughs> in the way. The other one was kind of in the way. Alright, we're done. Um. Oh, also, yeah, you only, your Overwatch only shoots once. Oh, uh, yeah. you build it, you, you can upgrade it so that you get, like, multiple shots in your Overwatch with different enemies. So, like, that could have also equally fucked you over. Code name um, Steam. Oh man, code name Steam. Rip. I still. That's still one of three games that I get into fights with my friends at Nintendo of America about. Look, I don't think it. I don't think it was bad. I just think there's so many games in that genre or in that style. Yeah. That no, I didn't. That it's inferior to. That it's just like you can't. I never said it as. I never said it was bad. I I listed it as um. In the I. That the year the game came out, I publicly ca categorized all the games I had beaten that year into games I currently have positive, like very positive feelings about, games I have somewhat negative feelings about, games I'm neutral, and some some games that are like a joke or something. I said like somewhat negative or something like that. Uh, um, I might not get this one. Yeah, you can re you can retry these challenge rooms indefinitely. Oh, okay. Well, I was I was about one step off, so... Yeah. Um, and I was like, no, like, with yeah, with Codename Steam, I just left feeling... It's just... I don't think it's a bad game. I think it was underwhelming. And I, th I think it was it was a bigger disappointment than it was a bad game. I, I would say that it's, it's a game that the 3DS couldn't handle that well. Uh... <sighs> Honestly, if they made a sequel, just <sighs> like fix the aiming or make the enemies not mo have an animation cycle when you're targeting them. I mean, so, so to to me, the issue was that the the encounter design because they couldn't yeah. do but such big stages and they could only put a handful of enemies on them at a time. You yep. ended up with the situation where like you had the infinite respawning enemies. That's uh, true. Whereas if they if they could make the stage as big as they would like to to build their challenge that way, and they could put pre-populate the enemies they want to have, then you don't have this situation where like I can't run my my like my choice of strategy. I just couldn't run because the game wouldn't let me. It's true. It was limited. Okay, I'm gonna head off. All right. Um, I will say I will just re I will read out loud one of my tweets from tonight. T me tweets about politics low interaction tweets about games medium interaction tweets about big boobs high interaction <sighs> that one was on you well, that one no was I, I, I responded to you more about literature than i did about that so i have okay one two three four tweets about big boobs no i'm speaking purely for my contribution I contributed more highly into the literature field. I'm just saying. Nice. Yes, nice. nice okay. Great. That's James James was the first reply which kicked off more replies which just kicked off a fight to see what the it's... biggest boobs on S Switch were which James which James provided the final evidence for because he I thought it was going to be Giant. Um, every time because I mean she's a giant. I don't know. She'll lose to Camilla in a month. Oh god. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. There's All a right. Camilla in Knights of Azure too. She doesn't have huge tits. She's Great. gothic though. Of course. All right. Well, on that, go enjoy your night. Bye. Thanks. You too. Bye. Bye everyone. What did I do to deserve that? Anyway, all right. So, hey, everybody. Now it's just us. Well, I no, I did not become Zach Miller. I was responding because I thought it was funny. Seren's posting Knights of Azure shit, and I was just like, "Look at the size of these boobs. These are the biggest boobs on Switch." And I'm like, "No, you have the Senran Kagura thing." 
and then it was then it, it all just went downhill and my life is a disaster my life has gone wrong it's that's all it happens it happens to the to the best of us I didn't ask for this. I asked for Mario time, but instead I get conversation about the big boobs. Uh, anyway, so let's s blow up some some baddies. Oh, that's gonna go real wrong if I do that. All right, well I can fix this problem. Time to play. Alright, so how do I get this guy up there? Oh, I have to go around. Okay, well then we'll take him to here. Alright. Yeah, being able to see enemies' movement range immediately would be full time would be useful. Uh, be able to say I want to be able to see how far he can move at all times um, would be good info to have they just moving oh we just taking a pounding this is bad this has already gone wrong is this just a kill mission? Defeat all. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna move around to this side here. Yeah. Oh, I don't need to wear headphones anymore. That's neat. Alright. Do I don't want to make a graph before each match? No. No, I don't want to do that. That sounds terrible. There we go. And he's not really in range to do anything, so we'll take a break. Oh, crap. That's not going so hot. Is there... I'll ask the chat, because maybe they know. Is there a way to restart a mission? Because, like, my screw-up here is pretty, pretty huge. Oh, he's the last enemy. So I can just restart the mission? Oh, okay. I might do it, but I think... I think we'll just, we'll just ride this out for now. You know what? We'll restart it. We'll, we learned some lessons. We'll go ahead and we'll run it again. How is the, how is the LEGO City version of uh, on 3DS? I know Guillaume liked it. But I, uh, he had some issues with it. All right. Okay, so let's try a different tact this time. Thank you. 
Okie dokie. Alright. Gotcha. Yeah, I would have expected that it's definitely the version that 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 lacks some of the punch. I mean, Lego City Undercover is an interesting game. That's probably the best phrase I would use to describe it. Like conceptually the idea of an open world an open world Lego game is interesting if a little bit uh, simplistic. Um, but yeah, it, it is too repetitive, and I'm getting killed up here. Good lord. Alright, one more time. Um, I just, I, it just never did it for me. I'm sure this is fun watching me restart this battle over and over again. No, I don't want to do easy mode. Go away. Yeah, I, I, I didn't... I didn't much care for the game on Wii, and I can't imagine... Yeah, like... I just can't imagine the need to buy it on Switch. Can I do this? Can I do this? What's the f the firing range of this? So it's two spaces over? One space over. There are so many LEGO games that come out on a year-to-year -year basis that it's disorienting. Um, but I would even argue almost upsetting. It's like, why, why, why do we have so many of these coming out at any one time? But we live in a world of just infinite LEGO games, so what can I say? I'll do this. Alright. Hammer. And then we'll overwatch on him. That's good, because... I don't know, there's just something about the game that wasn't that enjoyable. And I, I can't put my finger on exactly what it was. Like, it's fine. That game is the ultimate, defi the ultimate version of it's fine, I guess. Good night. I'm a but yeah, like the loading sequences in the in the Wii U version were ghastly. I mean, just awful. Yay! I got rid of him. So having it all in world would would be a boon, I would think. All right, I'll take thirty damage. Yeah, I heard the loading wasn't much better on Switch or on uh, the Xbox One slash PS4 versions of it, which is insane because the loading time was so bad. On those on the Wii U, and I didn't. I bought it digitally, which you would think would make it at least a little bit better, but apparently it's not. 
which is just inexcusable. But yeah, coming going in and out of missions on that in that game with the loading time was just awful. <laughs> Shit. I was doing better. I thought I had it too. Oh well. The uh Yeah, that's that's inexcusable. I mean, you would feel like the controls should be better cuz they were always kind of a little floaty. I don't I don't know. It, it's Lego, Lego City Undercover is the ultimate definition of it's fine. Like, yeah, this is fine. This game is fine. Uh, I would have liked it to have been better. Oh, I see. It's a puzzle. It's a puzzle, everybody. We did a puzzle. All right. Get in the tube. Why can't I get in the tube? I haven't played Iron Cast. Actually, some we had somebody uh, write the write to the podcast, like asking why we haven't talked about it. Um, I probably should, I guess. Oh, I see what I need to do. Okay. We didn't do it. We thought we did it. Oh, shh. Um. Oh, come on. Really? Boo. Uh, I... I, I'll admit, um, when I when I heard the premise for Ironcast, I was a little, uh, I was feeling a little less than inspired. Um, James can do puzzles too. Um, you know, I mean, I don't know. I I guess I guess I need to give it a shot. So for that entire tube ride, the uh, the vibration was going off, and that was a little bit unnecessary. Yeah, I, I will say that the 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 trailers and stuff for Ironcast looked like Garbo. Um. Alright, so it's this guy, this guy, that's it. Just the two of them, right? Alright, we can we can solve this problem. Real easy.
Alright, so he can't hit me right now. Yes, he can. I misread that. All right. Yeah, I, I, I should play Iron Cast. You're right, and I, I, I'll give it a shot. It's. But, I mean, you hit the nail on the head. That that video looks atro- uh, the, the opening, or the, uh, the, the stuff in the eShop promoting that game looks just shitty. All right, so if he walks towards Luigi, Luigi will shoot. Oh, but the other guy. Damn it. Oh, well, I didn't see those guys back there, so I'm not defending against them. Oops. Golden shot. I don't know what golden shot is, but I'll take it. Um, Yeah, the, uh, I've, I'll admit, I've done a real bad job keeping up with the Switch eShop, um, which is on me. Like, stuff comes out and I play it, but, there we go. Um, I'm not playing everything I need to play, which, for the podcast, is a lot of work. Um, I mean, it's not like it's a job, but it's like, there's... We get emails like, oh, hey, nobody on the show's talked about um, Tumbleseed. And it's like, well, no, we haven't. Um, you know, we probably should. Somebody should probably pl give Tumbleseed a, a play. We just haven't. It's not, it's not for lack of desire to play it. It's just time. Uh, this is probably going to go real wrong. Like, I, I never even played the second, uh, indie showcase today. Um, the finish thoughts was, I never even played the, oh, shit, come on. I never even played the second, um, Gun Vault. Uh... Hey, thanks for stopping by. Uh, I thought the Ninja Showcase was surprisingly, um, like, I figured it was going to be pretty involved, or they wouldn't have had it. Um, as obvious as that sounds. Like, they're not going to have that thing if they've got nothing to show. Um, I about lost my, lost my mind when Travis popped up. I... Still don't 100% understand what that game is. Um, I get the impression that the people making that game are okay with that. That they're perfectly okay with me not knowing what that game is. Um, and, you know, if that's what they want to do, then okay. I'm okay with, with figuring out what Travis's next adventure is once that game comes out. I thought there was a lot of neat-looking games on there. Um, it's pretty obvious that in some cases they just didn't know what to what to show 
for lack of a better word, like, there was one game where they basically... Sh shit, I thought it was far enough away. They basically explicitly said, like, experimental games... Oh, damn it. Uh, have a home on, uh, the eShop as well. That's bad. Or right, I'll just keep doing this. I'm gonna tell if I shoot him, I'm not gonna kill him. So we're just gonna just lame it out. Um, that weird, like the second game they showed was that weird, like find the game, game, which was a little too experimental for me to be your second game coming off the thing, but. I thought overall they put they put together a good show. Oh crap! Oh, this is bad. Oh, oh, that was really close. I uh, I wouldn't say I love No More Heroes. I would say No More Heroes was a a capable, if uh, less than perfect game, to say the least. I hope they're going to give me health, because I need health real bad. Uh, okay, they are. Um, oh, crap. Um... No More Heroes 2, I haven't played a lot of, but, like, it seemed to rectify my biggest issue with No More Heroes 1, which was just the, the dumb job stuff, where it's like, okay, now you need to do work. I was hoping to get more health than that. Um, Okay. I'm 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 curious what they're gonna do. Like, there were a bunch of games. Um, I don't have the list of games in front of me. Uh, that speak to uh, all the stuff that was announced today. I could I guess I could pull it up. Let's see. Let's take a look. I hate the phrase Nindies. I still hate it. I still hate the phrase Nindies. It's, I'm never going to not hate it. it. It's a bad phrase. They need to stop using it. Can't stop, won't stop. Alright, so that's how you connect to that one. Wait a minute, what? Oh, it's that one. Okay. I hate autoplay videos. Alright. Uh, Meat Boy Forever looked interesting. Uh, golf Story I've been watching because I, you know, I love uh, Mario Golf for the Game Boy Advance. Um... Uh, Polybridge is, you know, it's one of those games. I'm always interested in them, but they don't always do anything for me. Um, Steam World Dig, I loved. So Steam World Dig Two, I'm, I'm very interested in. Um, Malaka was kind of a surprise for me. Like I thought it looked interesting. Um, Yono and the Celestial Elephants is cute. I don't know that I want to play it. Uh, Dragon Marked for Death is made from the Inti Creates team specifically that did, um, 
that did uh, Mega Man Zero, which is one of my favorite games ever. But it's a multiplayer-focused game, and I'm not really sure I want to play that. Morphe's Law was a shooter I was thinking about that looks interesting. Um, and then, yeah, of course, no more heroes. Uh, Sony just calls them games. Like, legitimately, I think Sony just refers to them as games, which is the right thing to do. Yahoo! I wish the game gave you more health back, because I'm pretty low on health. Defeat four enemies. All right, I just need to let the chain, the, the chain chomp do the business. Look at this lame it out strategy we're, we're adopting here. Yeah, I, I just don't think Sony has a word for them. I think they just call them games, which I'm okay with. I'm okay with just saying, like, these are video games. They are coming to our system. I don't think you have to have a cute title for everything. They're definitely not going to call them PS40s. He's going down? Why? Now he's pissed off again. I was hoping they couldn't come up that tube. That's not good. Oh, shit. What is this? Can I attack them right now? No. I have to let him spawn. That sucks. I mean, you could make the argument, though, that Sony doesn't need marketing speak. That, you know, actions speak louder than words, and they got all the actions right now. Shit! Oh, damn it. I screwed that up real bad. Oh, I screwed that up real bad, too. does it give it that it's a and it's a that you're playing it on a nintendo system like i know i'm playing it on a nintendo system i'm holding i'm holding a switch controller it's just it's just marketing talk like it doesn't it doesn't do anything it just it's just a name Crap. Wait, why did... Why did he take damage? He's really far away. Why? 
Wii U was, but Nindies is a bad name. That's the difference. Wii U was a bad name. Nindies is a bad name. It doesn't tell you anything. It's just. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start the battle. ID at Xbox is a little bit different, and the reason why it's a little bit different is that there's a program behind it. Um, Nindies just feels like it's a bunch of business deals wrapped in a silly brand title. Um, like, is it is it a bit... Is it a big deal now? Oh, yeah, that's true. There is that, that title. I forgot about the PS Hearts Indies title. But yeah, it's all basically the same. Let's not step on it. That would be really stupid. You can you can give exposure, but not call it Nindies. The title isn't what gives it exposure. N Nintendo hosting a big live stream is what gave it exposure, or or footing the bill for that event that they're having tomorrow night. The the name isn't the exposure point. All right, what's he at? 26? Yeah, he's dead. 38. Deadzo. What's so special about Nindies at home? Like, I don't, I don't get this idea that this, because the word Nin is in front of it, it somehow makes it better. It's just a word. It's not even a real word. It's just a ridiculous word Nintendo made up for the benefit of their own brand, or their own marketing. I wonder if I get credit for that. I bet I don't. Joy-Con's another really shitty name. Yeah, Joy-Con's a terrible name. Why does he get a turn? That's stupid. All right. And they respawn. Another one spawns immediately. Amiibo is also a bad... Like, that's just it. Their naming is bad. Amiibo is a bad name. Although it's better than Nindy's, I guess. Because it's like Amigo, but plastic crap. Um, yeah, it just doesn't have any... Whatever. 
No, I don't want to do that. Um... Just a big dumb loot. I actually, you know, the the 3DS name was pretty was pretty was pretty good. Actually, I, I don't think the 3DS name was a problem. Um, because it told you what it did. The 2DS is too cute by half. Uh, like it. It thinks it's funnier than it is. No, I told you to go after the other one. Shit. Uh. God. I just wish they gave you more health back between missions. Like, that's really rough. Hurry up. I think you all are doing more to prove my point than you realize. No. Okay, Mario can walk up to here. Nice change targets, which I'm okay with. Actually, that was not so good. Is Switch being a jerk again? I know it was having all kinds of problems earlier today. Alright, so then if I shoot... That'll draw Luigi's fire. Who we'll finish him off? There we go. There we go. That's strategy. I would love to know what the hell happened to Twitch today. It was bad, whatever it was. Oh, I don't, I don't want to be the guy you go after. Uh... That'll draw him back over this way. Fuck! I, I always forget. So this, I'm getting screwed up because I see the attack pattern and I think, oh, that's how far he can attack. But no, that's how far he can move. It's not Fire Emblem. Bye. <laughs> 
Oh, shit! That hurts my own people. That's not good. I did not realize that hurts my own people. I'm sure there are a bunch of people streaming this game right now, so I'm not surprised. Alright, Chain Chomp, you need to do me a solid here. I hate that they get to the move right away. Like, they just spawned. God damn it. Yeah, I know, I lost. That's frustrating. What? Yeah, I don't know that I can win this with the with the limited health I have, unless I just run it perfectly. The fact that they spawn right on top of you is really a pain in the ass. And you can't go down there because the chain chomp's there. I don't know. I may have to redo the whole freaking chapter, which is which sucks. I'm a winner. Luigi's dead. Yeah, so on the second turn, enemy there's enemies that spawn here and here. Which makes it really difficult to actually, like, have a cogent battle strategy because they just kind of show up. Damn it! I already screwed up. Like I, like, I don't, like, I don't think I can beat this without restarting the mission, which sucks. I just don't have enough health for the damage they're dealing. I mean, I guess if I commit to killing the, the one that's right here, right now. Time to play. And I... Alright, so if I do that, and then I switch to you, and come back down here... Maybe this is the way to handle it? Because this will this will cause Mario to fire on him, which will turn. Oh no, it didn't. Okay, well that's fine. 
The chain chomp will do some damage. Alright, so that's one. You have to kill four. Um, I just got my first. I don't know if they count the one that the chain chomp's gonna inevitably kill. But you can see right now, those two that just popped up are gonna get a turn. Next turn, they get to attack. Which sucks. Alright. That's gone about as well as I could have hoped. Shit. That sucks. And now I'm going to lose Luigi because he's too far away and I can't do anything with him. I don't know. I don't know if it counts if I get credit for this one getting killed. That that's what sucks. Like, there's no reason why they should immediately get a turn. Cause he does. He gets a turn right away. Uh, the retroactive for Kid Icarus Uprising is never happening because it's a bad game. Alright, so maybe this will do? Alright. That got rid of one of them. So if that other one counted, which I doubt it did... Oh shit, I didn't mean to hit him. Oh well. We lost. Again. Like that, like, good lord. But the problem is if I go to the lower level, is that the chain chomp's down there. So I'm gonna take damage from the chain chomp every turn. I guess I could try to bait them around? I don't know. Like, so I wish they gave you a little bit more health between missions. Like, 60 is nothing, because these things hit for 50. So I'll drag him towards Mario, where he won't... Oh, come on! What the shit? <sighs> Alright. At least we got rid of him then.
the problem is right now they're blocking the tube. So the Chain Chomp is going to go after me, regardless of what I do. I can, but the Chain Chomp's here, so like, whoever I send down here is going to die, because the Chain Chomp's going to hit them right away. Do this. All right, that's good actually, in spite of how shitty that seems. Chain Chomp can't hit because that's too far. All right, that's you. I might be able to keep the Chain Chomp far enough away. <laughs> Shit. Alright, we can do this. This is doable. This is now officially doable. Uh, I don't know I'm going to go much much longer, Saran. I'm, I'm getting slightly annoyed, to say the least. Oh, I see. That leaves Chain Chomp the far the closest enemy. <laughs> Chain Chomp will take care of him. Now, do I get credit for that kill? There will never be a Kid Icarus Uprising retroactive. Period. End of, end of conversation. It is simply not going to happen. I did get credit for that kill.
Uh, Luigi, you're not you're not helping. You're anti-helping. We need a kid re a kid Icarus retroactive. Like I need a hole in my foot. And beyond that, everybody on the show except for John. The people make bad decisions all the time. Um, everybody on the show besides John has already talked about Kid Icarus Uprising. Like, ultimately. Like, I've talked about it. Greg's talked about it. Guillaume's talked about it. Guillaume, of course, is wrong about it. Um, but, like, we've talked about the game. Yay, it's over! Um, and, and I'll be honest, John probably just wouldn't play it. He'd probably just go, like, fuck the shit. I'm not doing that. Um, so... Like, I I'm not particularly eager to to have another retroactive where John doesn't actually play the game. Um, he's he's been very good at not playing the game last time. Um, he's been joking about it being him it being a quote my turn or him, and B we're gonna do Milan Secret Castle. To both of which I say, A, it's not your turn, John. We're not doing... This isn't a turn shit. We're not doing a Kid Icarus Uprising retroactive. Because it's a bad game. Um, we have not done a Jet Force Gemini retroactive. It's... Uh, Guillaume can't play it. Uh, because Guillaume doesn't have an Xbox One. And he could get the N64, but I wouldn't. I would argue its flaws are so significant that it crosses into bad. Oh boy, Bowser Jr.'s back in my life. After I just escaped him. I am streaming. Twitch fixed itself. Welcome. Um, yeah, my issues with Kid Icarus Uprising are... A, its control scheme is so janked that uh, it needed to come with its own kickstand. Uh, all you missed is I got stuck in one mission because I came in with too low health. Um, and that it's... Voice acting is some four kids bullcrap where it's just constant screaming about stuff. Uh, John actually played black and white, or he played, I think he played black. Um, that was the, the game that we bought, or that he bought at PAX East that time simply out of peer pressure. Which is awesome. Defeat boss. Yeah, I know. I, I, I had the choice of using easy mode, but I chose not to. Oh, wait a minute, what? What was that? Was that just to show me what happens if I get hit? All right, have a good one. Play. 
Time to play. Alright, let's pick up these coins. Um, I wish I could put two people behind cover. Did did black and white reboot the anime too? I know I know the most recent one has Sun and Moon. Um and everybody looks weird. What did they, what did they do with respect to a reboot? Oh, they just made him stupid? I mean, he was already stupid, though. So, like, they reset him back to novice trainer? Why? Well, so, I mean, the challenge they have is that... So, I have to be behind the metal crates, is what you're telling me here. Okay. I can deal with that. Do I have, to, I have to destroy the bananas? Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, how do I destroy the bananas? I'm guessing I can't target them. Can't go over there. All right, we'll just hide. Oh, I see. They, uh, I didn't realize there was an, an arc where Ash was actually competent. I just assumed he had maintained his general incompetence throughout the entire series. I know now he's in Pokemon school or whatever, whatever the term they... What can we do about his bananas? Do we just have to, we just have to kill him in one turn? I mean, I'm okay with forcing him to pick his bananas every time. Yeah, Rabbit Luigi is right on the edge of being useful here, but he isn't. So the question I've got is, if I'm behind these low metal walls, is it enough to protect me? I figured it was limp. I'm just... Alright, so there's a, like, I feel like this is what they want me to pay attention to. But, he's just not close enough to get there. Alright, I'm gonna leave Luigi where he is. 
I want to see if Mario gets hit on this turn behind the low the low metal wall. He does. Okay. That sucks. I don't know that I can get him over there. Like, I don't know that... I mean, I gathered that it, that's what it means. I'm just... I was just hoping that maybe it would allow me to... To not get knocked back. But it doesn't. That's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, target out of range. Oh, I hate that. There it is. That was what I was trying to accomplish. I had a plan. I was just not sure how to make it work. And then I could do this. I could actually hurt him. And you're out of range. There's not much I can do for you. Damn it, Luigi. Alright, this is what I'm trying to do. I need to get Luigi up there. It sucks that I'm going to have to let Mario take the hit. But I need Luigi to take the bounce to get to the block. Because Luigi hits like a tank. Let's grab the coins real quick. Is there a reason this thing's not going off? Is it, can it just not get to him? Can I make it go off? Oh, Mara, you're so close. Uh, I don't know why I put him there. Just cuz. Okay. I would assume there's like 10 other forms of this guy. Oh, come on! And of course...
Yeah, but she can't heal yet, so it doesn't matter. That sucks. The fact he can knock you out of bounds and you take a bunch of damage sucks. Especially since he already got a move this turn. Do I have to do it four times? I have to do it three times, I bet. I need to draw them away from Luigi, and that means... Oh, okay. That works, too. And now, Mario can shoot this guy. Good. Now we're just gonna do nothing for the next with these two around. Oh, come on. <laughs> hey, everybody's behind cover now. Goody. Ah, just to piss him off. Doesn't actually accomplish anything. Alright, so now I just have to kill a turn. Shit. Alright. All right, that's you. I wish the bomb would go off, though. I suspect bad things about to happen. Yep. There was the bad thing. I was actually... For whatever reason, that didn't hit Luigi. And I don't understand what it was. Where's he gonna go? He's gonna go to that one, I guess. Alright, so let's move Mario up so we can we can absorb that attack before it happens. And then we move you up and then we attack. Because he's gonna he's gonna hop across to the other one. And now we're already behind the blocks. I've already got the bomb on the field, so that'll that'll roll the right way. I just need to take care of any enemies that spawn. 
which I'll do with Overwatch. He's out of range. I can shoot him, but it's not going to do me any good. Alright, there we go. Ooh. He's gonna he's gonna get hit by that thing and go flying back across the stage, isn't he? That would be really bad. Alright. So I could do this. I don't want him to set this bomb off. That would be bad. Alright, well let's see what happens. Oh, he's gonna- he gets to go first. Oh, right, because he doesn't do the- the hammer thing. I, shit. Exactly the number. The bomb's gonna go off on him. Which is exactly what I didn't want to happen. Well, I know it's always 60 damage. My point was that it just happened 60 just happened to be the magic number. Is that too far? No, it's too far. All right, I'll just do this. And he's going to walk over here and then I can hit him with the other guy. All right. That solves that problem. Now I just need to get the bomb over there. He's going to keep doing this. Which is fine. Literally all I have to do... Is the one thing I can't do. Great. All right, we'll do this. Let's hope this is enough. Oh, thank God. All right. And then we spawn the bomb. All right. He's going to take a hit, but that's okay. I don't need him to solve the problem here. Luigi hits hard enough for everybody. It's just going to take a few turns. And then he can go hang out over here. I'm going to scoop up some coinage. God, I wish that bomb would blow up. Okay, can, can I hit from here? Is that, is that too far? Damn it, it's too far. Oh, well. It was worth a shot. We'll just keep shooting.
Oh, with the barrier up, he doesn't get bounced back. That's cool. And convenient. Because now, I can bring him up. And fish him off. Yay, it's over! Well, I didn't realize the bounce back was an ability. Or was a, a status effect. This scene is weird. Oh god, that's gonna be a thing the whole game, isn't it? I like that Luigi is very, very, very uncomfortable with what is going on over there. Oh god, what is that? What is Luigi doing back there? Alright. Oh god, it's work now. Alright. That is going to do it for tonight because I still have to do laundry and it's 1245 which is not good it's not a good not a good look for me the washing machine you know he's singing to rapid transport to go back in time and replay chapters well, I guess it makes sense you get it now yeah that's haunting all right, well, that's going to do it for tonight. Thanks for coming out. Um, Rabbids, Mario and Rabbids and stuff.